even your treasure is safe from me. <laughs> How's it going guys? So this is part two of the loot video. I was going to put it all into one thing, but then I uh, decided to do something last night uh, with with Diablo 2. I just didn't even really think about because I was going to save it as a secondary content video. And then I'm just like, eh, I'm getting really burnt on Diablo because I've just been constantly grinding for more high runes. So this is going to be another second part two of the first one. If you haven't seen the first one, go check it out. Uh, this one... I'm really excited for. As you can see, we have a unique sacred armor and two small, well, two large charms, two unique large charms. Those are torches. I ended up doing some more Ubers last night and actually went very well. Uh, I got this like two or three days ago. Let me make sure my thing was working there. Uh, if you don't know what unique sacred armors are, they are. Basically, can either roll two things: either Templar's might or Tyrael's might. Uh, Tyrael's might is the rarest item in the game. It's a one out of five hundred thousand chance of you actually getting that item. Sacred armors, on the hand, I looked up unique sacred armors. I found that you can get from horror mages in Rollstone Keep Two for like one out of like six thousand chance they might actually drop one. We got lucky enough; they actually dropped one. So, before we even get to this one, I mean, this one has been hyping me up more than the next two torches, because if it actually is, or happens to roll a Tyrael's Might, that'll be awesome. That'll be my second one I've ever gotten. I was reading an article that was saying that uh, people who've been playing Diablo 2 for like 20 years have never seen Tyrael's Might. That is insane to me. That the, 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 ch the drop rate or the chance rate for that is is so low out of 20 years, one out of 500,000 chance you don't get Tyrael's Might, that's insane. But we're gonna identify these torches real quick. Um, the only torch I really don't need is a Druid one because <laughs> I need a Source Torch. I don't need another Amazon one because I already have one that one. Uh, I'll take a Barbarian one, a... I don't say I'm taking an Assassin one. We can still working on that part. So like you see, there's a Source, a Paladin, or a Barbarian or a Necromancer. The Necromancer is the most least favorable ones, but... Uh, check this out. Hey, a Barbarian one! I apologize the volume's like, holy shit. I don't know, it's a 1419. Um, barbarian ones and Assassins, basically the most favorable ones on uh, Battle.net are either Sorceresses or Paladins because they're the most popular played characters. I'm pretty sure Necromancer is the lowest one. That's like Necromancer, I want to say Barbarian, then Assassin, then Druid, then Amazon, and then Sorceress and Paladin. But hey, we got a Barbarian Torch, so that'll be really awesome. I needed one of those so that it'll help out a little bit more when we're fighting Trav and Gold. Uh, I pretty much stopped fighting Trav because they just were not dropping anything good. I mean, I was seeing something that they were saying that it takes like every like three or four hundred runs or something like that, Trav may actually drop a high ruin. I'm like, eh, because I'm using lightsaber right now, so it's like, until I get another low ruin, it's like, it works, but it's not like going in there, kicking all ass, because you're going to get slapped around a few times. So, um, let's see what the other torch is. I'll take either a source or a paladin. Source or a paladin. Uh... Ah, oh, another barbarian one. Two barbarians. Damn, thirteen, seventeen. Eh, whatever. I mean, I usually just if, usually if it's not a torch for a specific character that I was ever getting on battle, I would just take them anyways because it gives you an extra thirteen or gives you extra attributes and resistances. So I'll probably just slap this on one of my other characters and just give them a, a free torch for those things right there. But the moment of all time. I pretty much hyped myself up hoping this might roll a Tyrael's Might. I really doubt it. You know, like I said, 1 out of 500,000 chance. You never know. I already have a Templar's Might. So, if this rolls Tyrael's, this will be the second one in, second one that I've ever gotten. And I watched Mr. Lama's video. He got one last year on Diablo Resurrected. And he got his from Bale, so. Oh. Let's see here. Come on. This will pretty much make my entire goddamn year if I actually manage to get Ethereal's Might. Ah, oh, 
damn. Okay, well, it's another Templar's Might. You know, can't really be too disappointed. If you've never seen what Templar's Might is, this is basically what it looks like. This is my second one of them. So, but hey, we got, you know, Barb Torch. And so, well, we got two of them. <laughs> but I was like, I kind of had a feeling it wasn't going to be one. But at the same time, I was like, really kind of hoping it would be one. But it's whatever. I mean, you can just like stack these damn things and your chances of getting one is going to be like slim to none. So, but I'm definitely going to start farming for more keys and just hunting down more tortures and crap like that. So, but uh, either way, stay safe, healthy, and sanitized. <laughs> And um, think about subscribing, dropping a like, the comments below, and I make sure to check them all out. I'll see you guys.